this lesson 6.6 .6 is called changing direct and partial variation situation. In example one it says does each situation represent direct variation or partial variation? So uh, A, Lily is paid five dollars an hour for raking leaves. If there is no initial value, if there is no flat fee that she's paid, it's just a rate. Five dollars per hour is a rate. Just when you just have a rate, that means that line would start at zero. So if we were going to graph this, her line would start at zero and go up from there. But if she's paid five dollars an hour for raking leaves, that must be direct. There is no flat fee where her line would start up higher. Uh, what about B? The printing of brochures costs $250 plus $1.25 per brochure. $1.25 per brochure, that is the rate. And the 250 is the initial value. That's what the printing costs start out. So that means that line, if we were going to graph that line, it would start up at 250. It has to start higher. So this is partial. Partial variation. Part C, Jordan is paid $30 per day plus $2 for every magazine. He's paid $30 a day. That's an initial value. It's a flat rate and then two dollars for every magazine that is the rate so that means this one would also be partial variation if there is just a rate and no initial value you know that it's direct and otherwise it's partial example two when we look at, look at equations can you tell which equation is representing direct variation or partial variation in A if C equals 4n plus 30 that line would start at 30 and go up from there. So this is partial variation. The rate is 4. 4 per day or 4 per person. $4 per person. That's a rate and 30 is the initial value. So the next one in B, we're just given a rate. The rate here is 4 and there is no initial value at the end here, no number that's all by itself. So if the number isn't there, that means you're just given a rate. This is direct. That means this graph would start at 0 and go up at a certain slope. The next one as well is direct because it's just giving you a rate because the rate is always beside a variable. This one, the rate is negative 85. Just because the 400 comes first, that doesn't mean that the 400 is a rate. The 400 is a number that is all by itself. It doesn't have a variable beside it. So that is an initial value or a flat fee. And the rate is 85, um, $85, or we're not quite sure because it doesn't explain that. But this then would be partial variation because this line would start at 400. And instead of going up, the line would go down because it's negative 85. Example 3, Ben works part-time selling newspaper ads. He is paid $18 for each ad he sells. Is this direct or partial? Okay, all that's given is that he's 18 for each ad, 18 per ad. That is a rate. And since there is no flat fee that he's paid, we know that this is direct variation. It says, let P represent the pay in dollars and N the number of ads sold. Then the equation for this situation is his pay equals, he's, he's paid $18 per ad. The number of ads um, is N. $18 per ad. So we would just do 18N. If he sells five ads, you'd sub in 18 times five. If he has 10 ads, you'd have 18 times 10. So this is the rate with the letter beside it because it's $18 per ad. And N is the number of ads. So here is Ben's earnings, $18 N. That's what it would look like. The 18 is the rate at which he's paid. So that means that his slope, has a, this line has a slope of 18. So it's a fairly steep line. It's going up by uh, 25 up the side. Um, next, what it's going to ask is, he's given a pay raise. Now he's paid $22 for each ad. So it was 18 and now it's 22. So now his pay is 22 per ad. 
number of ads for n. So again, if you had 10 ads, you 22 times 10, you would be able to figure out what his pay is per ad. This is kind of common sense, but having to write an equation is what is new. And this is a direct variation equation. There is no initial value. It's just a rate, $22 per ad. So this is how the graph would look. Before, if he was paid $18 per ad, it's not as steep as when he's paid $22 per ad. And that is how the rate changes the line. The rate doesn't change where the line starts over here. Um, it still starts, both lines start at zero. And then he's paid 22 per ad or 18 per ad. 22, of course, is the line that is steeper.